Hey there, and welcome back to Grandia 2. Let's activate this pillar and continue on in the Lily Caves. So now that we've activated all four, that huge door opens, and it looks like we're going to be going outside. So let's go, the League Cave 3. We're almost done with this place. There's not too much more. So it turns out that we're um, right on the edge of the Granite Cliffs. Kind of scary. Kind of a neat view, though. Don't worry, you can't fall off or anything. I've tried. So you just kind of walk along the edge there. And we get a save point here. Which I'm going to utilize, so be right back. All right, and welcome back from saving. So let's enter into this area here. And we've got us a cutscene, and uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Look familiar to anyone, that big blue orb-looking thing? And the smell of ruin and decay? Yep, you guessed it, it's a seal of Almar, just like in Garmia Tower. Well, it's a seal of Grannis, but it's used to seal in Valmar. It's the same thing. And this one has been broken, as you can see by the... By not only what Roan said right after I said it, but by the purple... The dark purple stuff around it. Whoa! What the heck is that? Ah! Just ate Elena. That's not good. So this is another piece of Valmar. And, uh, uh-oh, looks like Millennia's gonna come out now. Yep. You miserable. Won't stand being eaten. Alright, so Millennia's back. Awesome. And Merrick's like, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, big guy. We'll explain it to you later. And Roan's all happy to see her again. Miss Millennia? And then she's got our crazy devil side here. So now you get to meet my friends. Ah, I'm scared. It's kind of like a, a, a crab thing. Come on, chase after him. Okay, jeez. The cause of all of it? It is so vague. What are you referring to? Forget it, just go. What she is referring to is the curse on the town. If you uh, haven't guessed it by now, that piece of Almar is... Uh, causing the curse on the town. Causing everyone not be able to eat. Um, I'm gonna give her a reflection ring. Because that's kind of cool, I guess. And... I don't want to... I guess she can have the whole egg. That's fine. Okay, can I level up any skills real quick? Ooh, I can! Look at all those skill coins! Okay, let's uh, power up flying since I can, actually, because I'm going to be using it here. I can power it up again. Sweet. Cool. Uh, that's going to help a lot. Okay, let's check out the mist egg. Give power up his howl one more time. Lost magic. Let's get that a few times. Let's get this a few times. Up defense. Drops defense. Okay, let's up our defense, too. I'm not going to use that. Okay, we got... Awesome, we can get Howl Slash now. Let's level that up, because that's a higher level of Howl. We can get... Crackle. And... Magic Block, might as well go ahead and learn it, too. Okay, so now we've spent all our coins and wasted way too much time. Let's go. I may not be able to get this uh, battle in... Oh, wow, I never knew this was here. Burning Blow and a... F burning Blow... Burning Bow and a Flare Dress. Basically, they just give you free equipment for um, Millennia here, because I know that you haven't been able to upgrade her forward. Okay, I went... Th oh, well, duh, I'm stupid. Okay, um, as I was saying, I may not be able to get this whole boss battle in this video, because I've only got five and a half minutes left-ish. Well, actually, I've got about six minutes left. But I still may not get it all in this video, and... I may have to split it like I did with the Merrick battle. And uh, as Rito points out, this is obviously not Melfus. I shall strip your bones of your fine flesh, yes. So tender, so succulent. Come, let me taste you. 
Ooh, it's a Valmarsh and they can find co main course, yes. Oh, he talks like a human. A voice is familiar. Ah, Gadon, Gadon. Let me guess, new haircut? So, yep. As uh, somebody pointed out earlier, I think it was Dakar, or I, don't, I guess that's how you pronounce that, said that he has a very active tongue, hint, hint. So, yep, uh, Gadon was the one who was possessed by the tongue of Valmar. Which is kind of a weird thing to be possessed by, I must confess, but whatever. Okay, so he's got a right hand, a main body of Almar's tongue, and a head, and a left hand, which is really annoying. I hate him having four parts, and this one's using flamethrower, so I'm going to Beast Fang cut. And then I'm going to Flying Tensei Ken on the main thing, I guess. Then I'm going to Fallen Wings. Basically, just unload everything early and hope you can take out as much as you can. Ah, oh, 464. That didn't do as much damage as I'd hoped it would. Sky, take flight! This guy can't actually pick that thing up, which is kind of funny. So it's really just a regular 10 second slash, but it does. What was that? 1200 damage, I think. And uh, let's work on the, the hand while we're at it. Ooh, that's not good. It's probably going to cancel. No, it didn't cancel. That just did damage to everyone. It didn't do crap damage to everyone, though. Did you see that? Okay, it looks like something is charging up for a spell back there. Awesome, I canceled the hand. And get our fallen wings off, too. Um, later on, Millennia is going to get a spell, a certain skill, that will make boss battles. Basically, um, let's just say that with it, I beat the final boss without him ever getting an attack off on me. So, that'll be cool. It'll be better than having to deal with all this stupid stuff. Burn. Okay, I'm not scared of that. Oh no, a hundred damage. It's not like that really matters. Ah, it's just a flamethrower again. That's annoying. If I can critical it. Spew venom. Oh man, would you stop being annoying? Jeez. Okay, well let's just get more damage off on the left hand. Sky, take flight. I want to try to take out each part of it. You could. Just go for an all-out assault on the body, and that is probably actually a very viable solution at this point, because we're all pretty strong, so we can probably take it. But I don't know, I kind of like to just make things easier, and take out each individual part. So I'll cancel whatever he was doing, which is good, it's probably a flamethrower. Okay, 355, I can do a few sets of regular attacks. Gluttony. Isn't that ironic? Because I named the title when we met Gadon was Gadon the Gluttonous. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna need to do a little. Oh no, not snooze. Crap. Uh, this this may not be good. Oh, I didn't equip Millennia with any skills either. Okay, well let's get off a wound salve on Millennia. Where is she? There she is. She's in a little bit of trouble there. Now let's have her use a healer on Ryudo. Here you go. Well, that's a creepy voice. All right, so she's healed up. Ryudo's about to be healed up. Granted, he is still sleeping in the middle of battle, but oh wow, he's sleeping and poison. That's a strange combination. All right. Uh, I don't really care about the, any of that stuff yet. 355, let's just take this out. I'm sick of dealing with it. Can she even use anything? Nope. She can use a trimmer. Let's use it on the head, because that's in the middle. Ow. See, I mean, the poison doesn't do much. It's doing 7 damage per hit against Ryudo, which, that's not... That's not anything. So here's Tremor, it's pretty cool looking. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's nice, I guess. Okay, fi Ryudo finally woke up. Rowan's still snoozing away. There he goes. Gonna have to heal up uh, Millennia again. If I was smart, I would have given her the skill that Elena had, the Vitality skill. Okay, so let's have her get a heal off on herself. Let's have him get a wound salve on Rune. Come on, go 
Wait, why did I, I didn't mean Rowan. I meant to use it on himself. Oh well. It's because Rowan doesn't need it. Look how much HP he's got. He's got 1400 max HP. 62, that ain't nothing. Okay, well, we're at ten and a half minutes here, so I am going to have to split the video, which kind of sucks, but uh, I'll make sure to upload both of these parts on the same day. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you next time where we finish off the Tongue of Valmar. See ya.